By hour today, though, we're seeing that progressive warm up take place. So this afternoon, expect afternoon high temperatures in the 60s. We're already in the mid 50s. We're going to make our way to about 62 for the afternoon high. A couple more clouds this afternoon than we'll see this evening. You can see those clouds are going to progressively clear out as the day goes on, making our way down to 47 degrees by 1 a.m. Overnight lows are going to rest in the low 40s. Now, here's what we got outside right now. Partial cloud cover, uh, kind of a mix of the clouds and sun uh, wind. Pretty decent out there right now. You can see 13 mile an hour winds out of the south southwest right now. 55 degrees warming our way up again to the 60s. Now everyone has their eyes on Bloomsday. Of course, if you're going to make the run, keep in mind temperatures are going to be a little bit chilly in the morning. We've got 54 degrees for the start of the race, but warming our way up to 72 degrees for that daytime high. The thing is, it's not going to be the coldest. It's not going to be the warmest. So coldest blooms day on record 1984 and 1999. Both came in with an afternoon high of 47 degrees. Very chilly. The hottest that we've seen was 81 degrees. That was in 1977 and 1980. Keep in mind, though, just last year, your 2018 Bloomsday, 78 degrees. So dangerously close to that hottest Bloomsday record. We are not going to get up to the upper 70s. We're going to rest in the low 70s for that daytime high. And better yet, while you're running the race, a little bit cooler. 50s and 60s is what you can expect. Now, here's what we got by this afternoon. 5.30 p.m. We're looking at 60 degrees here in Spokane, 58 in Coeur d'Alene, 64 in Ritzville. As you move over on the west side of the state, 66 degrees in Wenatchee. Uh, overall, these temperatures just kind of in line with average. Not too much to note on future tracker. Just a couple clouds that are gradually clearing their way out. Still some isolated uh, Idaho panhandle showers that are up toward those higher elevations and then warming up over the next four days before we reach Bloomsday. Uh, you can see how gradual that temperature increases. Only real chance of showers over the next seven days is on next Tuesday and still that's only at a 20% chance.